Definitely, it's time for that conversation. You know that we are having Eno Barony joining us for a conversation tonight, or today, and it's because there's been a lot happening in the industry with regards to the female musicians. And so let's see if we can get to know what exactly is happening from the time we had WMT, we had KMT, we had Rap Goddess, then we had um, um, Sister Fia come out to say that she got nerves or you got nerves. And then she came back to say argument done. So that is where we are with regards to what's happening with some females in the industry. How are you doing? And no. Okay, so we are having difficulties hearing you. I don't know if you have to check from your sound where you are. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay, hear, now can now hear. now I can hear you. So how are you doing? Oh, the connection has gone bad. Uh, we hope that is restored in time, and then we get to have a fruitful conversation with Eno. So we are hoping that we have a better connection. It's better now, so Eno is back on the line with us. I was asking how you were doing. Um, I'm doing great, how about you? Very well, thank you. And you seem to be entertaining us as we are uh, still wondering what's gonna happen with us with this pandemic. Congratulations to you and the team. Thank you, thank you very much. So talking about entertaining us, uh, was it planned that, you know, whilst we are enduring COVID-19, you girls will be dropping, you know, some exciting rap tracks just to get us in the mood of entertainment? Well, I would say we musicians, we are born angels, you know, we produce like the food to the soul because music feeds the soul. So, I mean, when things are wrong, that is when people listen to some kind of music to get themselves going and all. But, like, to plan to, you know, um, take people out of the pandemic with whatever is going on, like, nah, it wasn't planned. I And we keep losing the connection with Enu. We hope that uh, it's restored once more uh, so that we can have that conversation that everybody, everybody badly wants to hear uh, her speak about what is happening. And she just started and then we're gone offline again. But we keep losing you. And so it's becoming uh, difficult for us to have a fruitful conversation. But uh, yes, it wasn't planned. But are you ha excited about the 10 out Oh, um, I'm just glad my fans are satisfied with anything I drop, you know, so not really, really some kind of excitement to jubilate over something I already know myself to be capable of, but, you know, just glad I satisfied my fans. So we won't go back to how the story began because a lot of people know by now that there was a certain WMT by Sister Fia. Frida Rimes gave us KT, KMT. You came with Rap Goddess. Fia went back to say you got nerves and then you came out with Argument Done. Now, looking at the sequence of events, there's been a lot of attacks on each other. Is that the way mm -hmm. the game is supposed to go? Well, I don't think that's the way forward. I mean, uh, I always stand for unity and togetherness. That is why even in my first job, no matter how I came to tell people about my rap goddess, whatever thing, I was still telling the girls, I mean, we need to feature ourselves and do this and do this because I believe together we can conquer. Yeah, so... I oh. Not again, not again, not again, not again. So we have Eno back now. So let's quickly go back to her and see if we can have a beautiful conversation. So you were talking about how you've asked that constantly females unite. Even in Rap Goddess, you talked about how the men are, are doing collaborations and the women are out there, you know, beefing each other. But it, yeah. it didn't even make it better because you also threw shots at whoever started it. Yeah, um, that was not like shirt throwing. It was just setting things straight, you know. Um, I don't. I, I'm a rapper, so I can't go beefing a singer. That's the first thing everybody should know. It's not even being fair, you know. But I everybody's just... entitled to his or her opinion. Yeah, and so yeah, you drop, I drop. But if afterwards, uh, like tweets and stuffs keeps coming at me. 
you know, like that has to do with my brand. Asking if I am a rapper or this or that. I mean, I just have to set things straight, not to even be few in the first place. I just have to set things straight. And that is all I did. So I'm saying that uh, it looks like it got really uh, personal after some shots were thrown at you um, after you decided to release Rap Goddess. Oh, it didn't get personal. It got from setting uh, things straight to just settling the arguments. That's all it got to. Not personal, like, to my personal life. You know, um, no matter how we are, we have people who follow us. And, you know, we need to, like, let them know what's going on because they can't follow you and feel like there's nothing you can do. You understand? There is no point... I mean, proving any points, but you just have to settle arguments and then you move your way because you have business to run. That's all. So let's take it one after the other. There are somebody yeah. shaming, and it's yeah. among all three of you. Don't take anybody out. You guys decide to body shame yourself, and I, I, I don't know whether you feel that it's a cool thing to do. Mm. <laughs> you think it's a cool thing? It is not a good thing to do. Um, when I came out with my first uh, song, Rap Goddess, there is a term, okay, there is a term in neighborhoods like Obi Umbare said, teacher Nere, Obi said, watch my area, like that police near. It's a term that is there. And even with that, it was not at an attack to like this particular person. So a lot of people were relating to this person or the other, you understand. And later on, the body shaming part started coming, you know, and then it started affecting girls with big body and stuff. And that is where I came to say that this is not a body shaming thing because me and whoever that is seeing the, this thing, it's just like me, you understand. So no body shaming, I mean, Okay, so we are giving it our last try and see. So uh, away from uh, the body shaming, which you have agreed that it wasn't cool, you insinuated that a sister Fia couldn't write her own lyrics when it comes to rap. Yeah. And you insinuated that the Sautuom guy who everybody knows is medical is the one behind the, the rap. Well, I was talking to the ghostwriter, so who the cap fits would definitely wear it. Is it that you're afraid to say because he said oh, lyrics near yeah, uh -huh. medically oh, weak? No, 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 no. Medically weak is different from medical. But this you refer to so to we all know that that is hood. We're talking about you referring to a so to him ghostwriter. Everybody knows that medical hood is so to him. And then you come talk about medically weak. Is it out of place that people are thinking that the job is for medical? Sorry, I, I can't hear you. What I'm saying is the job can be for medical if he is the one who wrote it. If he's not the one who wrote it, it has nothing to do with him. It has something to do with the first writer. And now you also called out... Can you, can you end the conversation on Skype so that we concentrate on what we're having on telephone because we seem to be getting feedback? Yeah. All right, so you also called that this... So to him, ghostwriter should face you and stop facing you or attacking you behind a woman. Yeah. And so who... If you, have, if you have all these things to say to me, I mean, you should face me, even though it is work, you still have to face me yourself and not go hide behind a woman to come and tell me this, this, this. Because, I mean, um, no matter how, no matter how a child... You know, we'll go to the forest and be sent with a, a tortoise to go and give to their mom. It doesn't mean the child is a hunter. You understand? So you should just face me yourself. Now, a lot of people have read meanings into it. I know that these are subliminal shots that you have thrown. People who can read into it know that you're referring to medical. Can you have a battle with medical and win? If it's worth it. Sorry, I didn't hear that. If it's worth it. If it's worth it. Yeah. No, but you call for a challenge. So also onu na unhiano. So if you shows up and say, okay, let's do this. Are you sure you're I game? Are you sure you can? Benji. I am calling for the ghost 
writer. Uh-huh. So he happens to be the ghost writer, and he talks. If a ghost talks for a human being to hear, definitely the human being is going to respond. All right. We also hear that the one who it could be uh, Takradi Bay's writer, a uh, rapper, sorry, Aizem, that is writing for Sister Fia and not medical. So what I'm saying is, if it's worth it. No, but you called for a challenge. Why are you now saying if it's worth it? At the time you were calling for the challenge, you didn't use if it was worth it. Who say the ghost writer in our battle? Yeah. Yes, I need the ghost writer. And I'm saying, even if the ghost writer comes out, when a ghost appears, ghosts, they always talk. But humans don't hear them. So if the ghost is able to talk, for me, the human being to hear him, that is when I'll give him the response. There's been also some allegation that you, you know, had your yeah. lyrics written for you by strong man. So you acknowledged him in your song by saying, Mimi, a strong man. I started rapping before strong man even started rapping. You know, so everybody who knows me knows what I can do, and it's it's being biased. If, if it's it's only people who don't have deep minds that will even say that strongman wrote this for me. Are you trying to say that you are a better rapper than strongman? Strongman is my favorite rapper, but you're not a better rapper than him. All I'm going to say is strongman is my favorite rapper. He's in his lane, and I'm in my lane. You understand, but I don't even need strong man to come and write rap for me to go and face a singer and her ghostwriter. Come on, I'm I'm bigger than that. You're bigger than Sister Fia and her ghostwriter. Oh, come on, you, you don't need to be told. Now, I've also heard and Bulldog puts an amount of 50,000 on it, saying that you can rap more than a lot of the male rappers, including Sir Kodier. Well, that one, it's no news because I, I can hardly hear you. What I'm saying is, uh -huh. ever since I started rapping, like from right from underground, nobody ever compared me to even a female. I was I was mostly compared to like male rappers. So anybody who knows what I can do will even bet his life. So for that one, there is no news. That you're a better rapper than Sarkodie, yeah? Come again. That you're, it's no news that you're a better rapper than Sarkodie. Yeah? I'm saying it's no news if someone comes out to compare me to Sarkodie yeah, or to say I'm a better rapper than Sarkodie yeah, because people who know me always bet their lives and stuff on, you know, that. But me, I give respect to whom respect is due. You understand? It's... It's of no use me coming out to come and say I'm a better rapper than Sarkozy. I have learned from him. You understand? But it's up to the fans. The fans, when they love you, anything can come out of them. Now, two things uh, have come out from you alleging that someone wrote for Sister Fia. One of them is that the rap was too good for you to believe. No, it was too work, and I know where that work can come from. I mean, what I'm saying is, one... This idea is not even capable of bringing that work thing. That's what I'm saying. So, you, is it that you believe that you got nerves couldn't come from her? Or you believe that even the WMT could also not come from her? Both cannot even come from her. Now, what's the relationship between both of you? Because you had Daredevil with her. Now yeah. that you are, I hear you're unfollowing each other, it's becoming dirtier on social media with body shaming from both of you. What's the relationship? Well, um, I don't have a problem with her at all. I don't have a problem with her. Um, she's a colleague in the industry, you know. And with the body shaming, I've already scratched that because I'm somebody. I'm somebody who is always preaching. I'm, I mean, we should love ourselves and our kids and everything. I even did a song, Heavy Load, and I even looked for the heaviest woman I could find to take to the biggest stage I even had last year to prove to them that if you are big, it doesn't mean you are you are not sexy or you are not beautiful. You can do anything you want to do. So the body shaming part is not me. Yeah, but with what is going on, I mean. Um, I want to sit down for somebody to, you know, just throw that in people's eyes about my brand. I just need to set things straight, and that is all I did. Not even, like, a beef or anything. 
I have nothing with beefs or something with females because I never concentrate on females or anything. When when you are a good fruit and you're on a tree, definitely it's sure to be thrown at you all the time because somebody wants something to fall from you so they can also lick. So I know this is not even going to be the end. The shots will keep coming and coming from every angle of, you know, females. But I am done with girls. I am just focusing on the bigger picture. That's all. And the bigger picture is, according to Sister Fia, that you, she gave you numbers, that you didn't have numbers uh, on your YouTube, you couldn't have numbers as she had, but she's giving you numbers. <laughs> well, Sister Fia didn't give me numbers. I, listen, um, when Sister Fia did her song, I mean, a lot of people drop songs and stuff. I dropped my rap goddess, and that is when it became an issue. So if I haven't even dropped my rap goddess, Sister Fia's, whatever she dropped would have been long gone. It is because I am the rapper and everybody was like, oh, a rapper just came to say something. That is why everybody started paying attention to what was going on. It would have been just shot, just thrown to whoever she was referring to and stuff, and it would have been done. Finally, oh, oh. finally she said she was disappointed. She said, ah, Namurab Queen, Anye. She's disappointed in your arguments, Dan. Yeah. She will be disappointed, I know. Why? Oh, sometimes, I mean, some things can pass through you and then it will be left you, with you just talking, 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 just like that. So, I know. Frida Rhyme says she's not even had an opinion yet and you say argument done. <laughs> yeah, she, she's entitled to her own opinion so she can go about it. Anyway, unfortunately, that's all time we'll allow us. We wish that we had a better network to have had a smooth conversation with you via video. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. Thank you for making time for us this morning, Enu. Thank you, too. And your loyalty to the Go TV family is why we are giving you a free upgrade on your next package. Simply stay connected and get upgraded to the next higher package at no cost. I'm at no cost. Hey, I'm passe. Go TV always got your back. Stay home, stay safe, and stay remotely connected with MTN Momo, Slide Pay, Express Pay, Slide Pay, Star 389, Star 5 Hash, and Star 7974. Five nine hash, and we'll bring you non-stop entertainment here on TV3, BET, African Magic Family, Rock 2, 3, Telemundo, News, Trace Jama, Ghana Learning Channel, and an array of kids learning and fan channels. To all you, stay entertained. Go TV has got your back. And I'll hand you over to Eto and Johnny, who are standing by. Absolutely. Mm. That, was, that was a good interview. Technology was trying <laughs> was, to mess up yeah. with, see? with the interview. Yeah. But, but it was a good interview. I don't know why she's backtracking anyway. Uh, because the earlier indication I got was that I'm ready for the fight. You bring see it that? On. Yeah. Bring yeah. it on. And I don't know why any of them is not able to say, look, I'm referring to Eto. Yeah. So Eto, bring the game on. Yeah. Let's have it. And they're all like, okay. That's not uh, a problem with medical. Well, she doesn't seem to say that yeah. she has a problem yeah. with but him. But it's mm. obvious. They are back and forth. Because she thinks that, yeah. per the raps, mm. it looks like she thinks medical is the ghostwriter for Sister Fia. But we are also <laughs> hearing that Aisem could be the one Writing for Sister but, yeah. but there's no mm. there's no offense. Mm. I mean, it's part of the industry. I have always said that having led a band before and played in a band, I've always said that it is not always that you have to write the song mm. and no. sing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are many songs that are written by people. You know, for example, um, Lady, the song Lady mm -hmm. by Leonor Richie it was not written by him. Even yeah, here in Ghana, we have a lot of people writing for. Adina just told us a few days ago mm. that mm. her song uh, Life uh, is was written by Kidi and yeah, uh, yeah. Um, what's her name again? Um, this woman, oh, bring your name. Um, don't beat yourself. Don't worry. You know, you know, you know. You I mean, know. the, the song that brought Becca to to the limelight yeah, was, was written, written by uh, Akwabua at the time when we were on Bands Alive together mm. about twelve years ago. Wow. Akwabua was not singing then, mm. but that was what. So, uh, SP, CSP's Kofi Sapos yeah, uh, yeah, Ayinyo, Ayinyo. Ayinyo. was written by Akwabua as well. Yeah. So. It's not always the rule that you have to write and sing it. It's not a big deal. Perhaps that's why a lot of people are not breaking through because they want to write, sing, master, mix, listen and do to it. All by themselves. One and take all the credits. Mm. King Prom is also another songwriter. I was talking about Senna Dagadu. That was the okay. name I was trying to yeah. remember. Yeah, Senna Dagadu. 